I served on the Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit for a little over 22 years, and I retired rather than remaining on the court, which I loved, uh, primarily to be free to speak out on policy issues, political issues, controversial issues, and to be free, as sitting judges properly are not free, to be critical of anybody and everybody, including the Supreme Court. I have no employer, no uh, rule book uh, uh, limiting what I can say, so I may be one of the few people who is able to speak with complete candor and with uh, no restraints or hesitations. And I find there's a lot to speak about. Uh, the United States has and has had for two centuries the best patent system in the world. Uh, it is widely imitated, increasingly imitated. It is the key to our success not only in becoming the most highly industrialized and wealthiest and most powerful country on the planet, but it is the key to our success today and going forward. Our key competitive advantage compared to uh, commercial rivals uh, around the world is our innovation system, our uh, patent-driven innovation system. Uh, so it concerns me greatly if it is going to be weakened uh, at the time when we need it most if we are to uh, assure future prosperity, uh, create the jobs the country uh, needs, uh, 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 remain competitive uh, globally, and, and hopefully do uh, even better than we're uh, doing now. Uh, so, uh, so much is at stake. Uh, the future of the country, it's no exaggeration to say, the future of the country is tied up in the current patent reform debate.